Investigators say Jake Patterson bought a mask at this Walmart as he started planning the crime. The night he took Jamie, he shaved his head and showered to avoid leaving DNA. He decided a 12-gauge shotgun would be the best choice of shell and weapon to kill someone versus a rifle. Just before 1 in the morning on October 15th, police say he cut the engine to his car and coasted into the Kloss driveway. The family's dog, Molly, woke them up barking. Investigators say James Kloss went to the front door. He apparently thought Patterson was a police officer and asked to see his badge. Patterson shot him through the door, then shot the door to get into the house. Inside, police say he found the bathroom door shut and barricaded. He estimated that it took him anywhere from 10 to 15 hits with his shoulder before it burst open. Denise Kloss was hiding with Jamie in the bathtub. She was on the phone with 911 and had her daughter in what Patterson described as a bear hug. Detectives say Patterson told her to hang up the phone and tape Jamie's mouth. After taping Jamie's hands and feet, prosecutors say he shot her mom and dragged Jamie to his car. Just 20 seconds down the road, he pulled to the side to let emergency responders pass on their way to the Kloss home. Jamie was in the trunk. The shotgun was on the front seat. He told investigators he would have fired at police if they stopped him. Jamie's 88-day nightmare was just beginning. Patterson drove her two hours to his home. Only there did he learn her name and the names of her parents from watching news reports. Patterson made her give him her clothes. He told her he couldn't have evidence and burned the clothes in a fireplace. During Kloss's captivity, Patterson would have visitors to the house, including his father. He told police he hid her under a bed and used plastic totes and weights to make sure she couldn't be seen and couldn't escape. When he would go somewhere, he told her she better not leave and told her bad things would happen to her if she tried. Last Thursday while he was gone, Jamie pushed the barriers out of the way. Police say she put on a pair of Patterson shoes and walked outside. There, she found a neighbor walking her dog and was finally safe.